spending time with family. Is it family? Just unite with family and just have a great time. Family. Present. Presents. <laughs> Definitely. Getting a lot of presents and wrapping, like tearing off the wrapping paper. It's the food. Cause I like to eat. It's wonderful to be alive. Family. Toys. Just being with my family. Getting gifts. <laughs> they care about me. Celebrating. It's about celebrating the worship of God. Well, I'm, you know, I'm a Christian, so I, uh, I believe that it was the birth of Jesus Christ. Love, food, gifts. Christ was born on Christmas. Um, it's about the birth of Jesus. Birth of Jesus? Um, you know, too. I was always told that it was, uh, it was Jesus' birthday, sort of, so. I'm not particularly sure on that, but i only go by what I was told. I don't know. It's about, I'm not sure on that one. Given to whoever you can give to and not all you can do. I believe it means Christ's birth. The birth of Jesus, basically. Yeah, I guess. Christ Mass, you know, they you know, it's kind of been put together. The Mass. Chris, Christ Mass, maybe? Is that it? Uh, it's Christ and Jesus Christ. All around the globe, the single most popular holiday of both young and old is celebrated on the 25th day of every December. Of course, I'm talking about the mega consumerism holiday known as Christmas, the day on which friends and family get together and share good food, exchange costly presents, and tell tall tales about Santa Claus that makes even the most elderly amongst us feel like giddy young children all over again. But apart from all of this excessive binging on our selfish desires outlined on long wish lists and dangerously tempting dinner menus, what's really the whole point behind Christmas? Most Christians believe that December 25th, Christmas Day, is the day that Jesus Christ was born. However, when you take a quick look at the biblical account of when Jesus Christ was born, it becomes very apparent very quickly that the idea that Jesus Christ was born on the 25th day of December is quite simply ludicrous because the Bible tells us in the book of Luke chapter 2 beginning at verse 8 and there were in that same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night and lo the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. According to the Bible, at the time of Christ's birth, the shepherds were abiding in the fields as they watched over their flock. And in that region, it's a known fact that the shepherds would never be caught doing such a thing during the bitter cold month of December. Which means that the old fable that Jesus Christ's birthday was on December 25th is 100% backwards. However, since these are the facts, why was December 25th chosen as the time to celebrate Christ's birthday in the first place, when that date has nothing whatsoever to do with Christ? Well, if you really want to know the answer to that question, 
You're about to find out.